Hey guys, it is the 1st of February. My name is Jess and here's a bunch of news. For those wondering, Bethesda have confirmed that they will indeed be having their second ever press conference at E3 this year. The publisher have scheduled their briefing for Sunday, June 12 at 7pm PST. At last year's event, which marked the inaugural Bethesda briefing, the company showcased Fallout 4, Doom and Dishonored 2. Bethesda are yet to reveal what we can expect at this year's conference. This bit of news has come as something of a surprise since Bethesda marketing executive Pete Hines said last year, I don't know if we'll do one next year. 2015 felt like the right time to do this kind of thing. Just before the Bethesda briefing, EA have their first ever EA Play event scheduled during Sunday afternoon. Starting this month, those of you who fork out for a PlayStation Plus membership can once again vote on an upcoming free game. Later in the month, you'll have the chance to choose between the PS4 games Bro Force, Assault Android Cactus, and Action Hank. The winning game will then be offered up for free as part of March's Plus lineup. Voting set to begin on February 9 on the Vote to Play Hub on PS4. The last time Sony gave users this option was in August of last year, when Grow Home beat out Zombie Vikings and Armello and was subsequently offered up for free. The runner-up games were then offered at a discount. Also, if you haven't done so yet, be sure to get your free January games today, as the February ones are due tomorrow. Finally, Fallout 4's latest update is out now for PC and will be coming to consoles later this week. Following its January beta release, the 1.3 patch is now officially ready to go. The update adds new PC-specific features like an ambient occlusion setting, changes to workshop mode, and new debris effects for NVIDIA card users. Across all platforms, the patch is set to deliver general memory and stability improvements, as well as a number of bug fixes. Said bugs include those that cause you to walk to a different location while aiming, and another which causes you to become dismembered while still alive. Not what you want. You can check out the full list of workshop, quest, and gameplay fixes in our story on GameSpot. Let me know down in that comment section if you've run into many bugs while playing Fallout 4. You can head to GameSpot where we've got stories on cheating in The Division and PlayStation Network issues. That is everything I have for you today. As always, let me know what you cared about and I will catch you again tomorrow.